Shalom, YouTube. I'm surprised why this story didn't get on the um on the news. I don't know why this is not on the news. Why this is not everywhere. Allegedly millions of American social security numbers were compromised in a recent data breach. The breach happened after a group of hackers reportedly stole billions of records from the background check company, National Public Data. And the leaked version of the stolen data was, this, was then said to be posted to a free hacking forum. Some of y'all, some of y'all might have also received a letter in your mail by your union, if you have a union or not, or maybe just, you know, what, um, whatever job you're working at right now, whether it's union or not union, a lot of y'all receive letters from your union, your company. to inform y'all about the incident. And, um, yeah, I had to cover, I, I received my letter too. I received it. I got the union up there, but I received it too. Notice of security incident data breach. I received that letter. And a lot of y'all received that too. A lot of y'all received that. Not everybody, but some. I, I, I received that, which means a lot of people has too, which means that this, it's not a lie. This is, this is happening. Um, I find it interesting that it's right, that all of this is happening right around election time too. Right around election time. Let me tell you just how, how far this goes back, this, this whole situation. But before I do, you need to really ask yourself this question. How come this story is not on your local news and media stations? Why isn't nobody covering this story, this topic, or even bringing an awareness to the people about this situation that just happened? You have to ask yourself that question. How come this story is not being shared everywhere? This, this is very serious, right? I, it's, that's important, that's serious. How come no one is covering this or letting people know? Hmm. Hmm. Ask yourselves that. Now back to what I was saying. Let me tell you how far this, how far back this goes. I'm gonna read the letter to you. Dear, because that's my name, Felix Lopez. But to ya, whoever received the letter will have your name. So picture it as if you're reading the letter. Because a lot of y'all, it doesn't matter what union you are in or was in, it, it doesn't matter. They will send something like, like, like a letter to you to let you know about what happened. 
So dear the reader, whoever you are that received this as well, Service Employees International Union, Local 32 BJ, which is the union, but whatever union you're in or company, you're going to see that, right to make you aware, aware, ladies and gentlemen, of a recent incident that may impact the privacy of some of your information. You are receiving this letter because you are potentially impacted by this incident. 32BJ is providing you with notice of the incident. Uh, steps we have taken in response and resources available to help you better protect your information. Should you feel it is appropriate to do so. To do so. What happened? On November 1st, 2021, 32BJ experienced 2021. That's what I'm telling you. That, that's how far back this, this goes. <sighs> but you you might have received a letter on on the on on the and the year 2022, some of y'all 2023, some of y'all don't even know about this, some of y'all probably getting it now. But this is as, as far back as this goes. <laughs> 32 BJ experienced a data security in, in incident that impacted a limited number of 32 BJ computer systems. We immediately responded and launched an investigation with cybersecurity experts to confirm the nature and scope of the incident and determine the impact to 32BJ data. Through the investigation, we learned that we, we, we learned they wrote then instead of that. We learned that and un authorized character they didn't want to put an s in it just one character accessed certain files and folders within the 32 bj system and may have viewed or acquired data containing certain numbers information between october 21st 2021 until november 1st 2021 so everybody who's in that union too, I, a lot of them received this. Anybody in different unions, your company, your job, you will also have received this letter as well. We conducted a thorough program, um, pro programmatic and manual review of the potentially impacted files and folders to determine whether they contained any sensitive data. We re recently concluded our review and determined on or around January 13, 2022, that information related to you, people who received this and all over the world, to you was included in the potentially impacted files. After determining the scope of information in the impacted files, we undertook efforts to locate address information for the affected individuals, put resources in place, and provide this direct notice. What information was involved, ladies and gentlemen? The information that was involved, the information present in the files, that may have been viewed or acquired as a result of this incident included your name and date of birth and social security number. Then it could just keep going about what are they doing and what can you do, you know. Would you see that? These are the letters that they sent out. And that's what I'm telling you, this is us, as, as far as it goes back. 
but now it's like it's spreading on the internet and s small groups of people are covering this bringing this to light and awareness a small group and what I mean by that is why does it take content creators social media platforms to cover this kind of story which is very big and important but you have your local news and your local media station that people watch all day on the TV you know the radio station even driving the radio how come those the local news the media the radio stations all of the how come they're not talking about this but the content creators are and social media is why this is this is why I I say YouTube YouTube is the news YouTube is the it, it, this is your t this is the this is TV right here but this is where you're gonna get your news your truth along with social media as well because right now social media is crazy right now and when I mean crazy I mean with all the de deception which the Most High already said. So it was like, they're throwing, this is how it is. They're throwing everything in these platforms, right? On social media. We're talking about short feeds and all this. They're throwing everything in there. And everything that is being in there is lies, deception, truth, lies, deception, truth, lies, deception, truth. But with the truth, in the truth, the truth, put this somewhere else. Keep the lies, deception of them. Oh, the truth, throw it somewhere else. They try to keep that hidden, shadow banned. The ones who are the truth, you know, but if you look, social media, it's the algorithm, 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 excuse me. <laughs> Devil's not, he's he, he not trying to make me talk. But the algorithm on social media with all these short clips and all that. The deception is everywhere. But the truth is also being thrown in there as well. That's what they're doing. Lies, deception, truth. Lies, deception, truth. And then you got the content creators as well. With their own platforms, their page, what they're trying to do. The truth, this and that. But with those who have their own stuff with the truth, put that somewhere else. And let's let the ones who's negative or doing silly things, let's put them out there. But the ones who's bringing in awareness, trying to make a change, uh, trying to do something, you know, just, just just letting you know what's going on in the world. This kind of algorithm energy, you know, like, like you know what I'm saying? The, the, the energy, the frequency on that. No, no, no. Let's, let's, let's bring that. Mm -mm. But, the, oh, he or she, look at that platform. They're foolish. They're twerking. They, they're laughing. They're cursing. They're they, 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 they doing whatever they're doing. Silly, silly things. Just for views and all that. Yeah, let's 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 promote them. Let's blow blow them up. You see what I'm saying? So I'm, so I'm see what I'm getting at. It's, I'm telling y'all, discernment, trust the Most High. But that's how it is on social media. That's how it is right now. That's how it is right now. See, so a lot of y'all from all over the world, all over. Especially here, I've received a letter from y'all, from your unions to tell y'all what happened. So this has been going on since 2021 of November, maybe even more. But from what I got there, that's what it read. So this is from what I read, what I've, what you heard. To this has been going on since the 20. November 1st of 2021. Now, I'm going to stick to the topic of the Social Security, but I'm going to jump off that topic real quick. And go into the gang stalking, you know, the illegal Quantel Pro. And I don't, I'm not going to say too much on it because I speak on it a lot, make videos on it a lot. But is it this situation here, the letter I got about a character, a breach in the, in the you know, a breach 
is it kind of making sense about the about the gang stalking that takes place in the workplace? Is it? Now, now we know about the the fake files, the fake dossiers on innocent people, the illegal illegal Quantel Pro, the gang stalking. Which that program is the main cause and the main reason as for mass shootings, suicides, and job loss. As you see with job loss. But that program takes place everywhere. Community, your jobs, wherever you go. They just try to keep that low key. But is it making sense about the workplace, how that happened. You see a, a breach in the union with so social security, birth certificates, and somebody went through files. Is it making sense how gang stalking is taking place in the workplace? How these files get to certain people's hands and then they have certain people involved in the workplace? Is it making sense? So we know about the fake files, fake dossiers on innocent people because FBI whistleblowers spoke out and said they were ordered to put innocent people on this terrorist blacklist watch list to create it, to bloat it for funding. We also know that people are also being put on that same list out of envy, jealousy, divorce, relationship, breakups, just because whistleblowing. Um, as for the workplace, it could be you know, a co-worker could put you on that. Management, HR. Also, family could put people on that list. You know, it's, it's the, it's et cetera, et cetera. It's, but it's the same list, which means, oh, we can't, we can't forget. This, that, that's the same list, like Jane Cliff. We always got to mention, honey, Jane Cliff. Remember, this is the same list that Jane Cliff's counsel threw her on. And they thought she was a bother and put her on that as well for a simple innocent phone call out of concern and safety of a drunk man trampling over flowers. She got put on that list over that kind of for over that phone call. A concerned phone call about a man trampling over flowers drunk. Concerned for the man for the safety. Her counsel thought she was a bother. That phone call that phone call bothered somebody. And say, yo, let's put this woman on a list with sex attackers and violent people. This innocent woman. Let's let's throw on that because she's a she's a she's a thorn to our side. That's what happened. Research. That's what happened. See how dirty you see how foul and wicked that is. That's what happened. Took her four years to clear her name, but she was gang stalked. This is real. Okay. And the reason why I brought up the gang stalking. But focus on how it takes place in the workplace. Think about it. These fake files and dossiers that has pictures of innocent people's faces on these files with fake alleged crimes has been distributed, these files, to 60 countries, 18,000 police and sheriff, sheriff departments, which is why you see cops with the one headlight, the overcoating with the hands that I that I showed y'all with the feet, the color coatings that you see out here with certain things that they do, the coughing, the sniffing, the hair touch. They do it overtly. And then of course, 1,440 private companies have those files too. Yeah, y'all workplace. So think about, think out the box a little bit. Think out the box. All right, 1,440 private companies, the workplace has these files as well. And the illegal Quantel Pro also takes place in the workplace. And the letter said, your unions experienced a data security incident that impacted a limited number of your union's computer systems. And through the investigation, we learned that an unauthorized actor, how they wanted to put that, accessed certain files and folders within your union, 
unions system and may have viewed or acquired data containing certain numbers. Is it making that brain of yours work? Now that I can explain how those files got to 1,440 private companies, the workplace. It's all connected and it's all from the inside. What you think? You think somebody from management, HR, somebody who... You gotta... It, it, it's all about knowing people. With, with, it, it's about knowing people who has connections to that kind of list and those in power as well. So you think people from your workplace don't know certain people from the union and certain people from the union don't know people in the workplace and they can make up stories and be like, yo, put this person on this list over here and then that happens. The letter, the breach, somebody breached into everybody's stuff to take to take things, to take your files, your social security, your, your just looking through your information, data. Is that kind of making your brain work and be like, oh man, that's why that's why gang stalking takes place in the workplace too? Because you'd be like, how the hell did it go in there? How? Now, is it? Think out the box. Is that making sense? So allegedly, there is a estimate of 272 million social security numbers are floating around hacker forums after someone stole them from a check company in Florida called National Public Data, which is owned by an actor and retired sheriff's deputy named Salvatore Sal Verini. An actor? All that stuff went to that? Allegedly in April, a cyber criminal known as USDOD tried to sell terabytes of data on a hacker forum. The data was from the blandly named National Public Data and compromised 2.9 billion rows of records including social security numbers, addresses, and phone numbers. Some copies of the data leaked in the following months before another hacker posted a nearly complete version on August 6th for anyone to download for free. Days later, National Public Data confirmed that it had suffered a data breach. What I find interesting is this happened in April. We almost in September. Now they want to start letting people now know in August about this. When this happened in April, back in April. Oh, but, but they quick to notify you that you owe them money. Oh, they quick to send those mails out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They quick to they, they, they quick to send you out. Send some mails to you and all that. You you gotta pay this, you owe this, you pay this. Oh, we need this, we need this. But this right here, your social security, your your stuff, your information. Oh, they no, they don't want to tell you that. They're not telling you this on the news, and they're not telling you that. Your information, your stuff got leaked. You they're not telling you that. But they'll tell you that you owe them money, but they take yours and take your information or that freely, illegally. And they don't, shh, they don't tell you. No. Election time. Hmm. Seems like the perfect time to acquire people's social security number. For what? Illegal votes, using people's monies to put them in certain places, to make booths and all that stuff, illegal booths, all, 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 all that stuff. Because best, or well, they needed the money from, uh, you know, dead voters. Man, this is, a, I don't, 
it's, it, 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 it's all scripted, man. This, this is, this is not real. It's fake. It's scripted. It's scripted. It's fake. Do not believe that this was an accident. Don't believe that it was an accident because it was not an accident. The company responsible for the breach should have to pay for all of this. And that's a fact. They should. But, but we really need to start asking the question. Why is this not on the front page of corporate news? And another question. Who gave national public data, which is a private company, permission to collect people's social security numbers? So just keep in mind that someone has broken the law of the Privacy Act of all social security numbers. I just want you to remember what the word of God says for those going through a tough time, got affected by this, have, have a lot of worry and thoughts. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all those things and all these things will be added to you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Do not be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supp um, supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swore to your fathers, as it is, as it is this day, Deuteronomy chapter eight, verse 18. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Yeshua HaMashiach, Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay prayed up. Y'all unplug from this matrix. Y'all repent to God. Have a relationship with God. It's in the end times, y'all. End times. Final last days final days i can't say last seconds or minutes because i don't even know when he's coming nobody does but with the stuff happening yeah we there we're, we're it's it, it's i don't know about y'all but do y'all feel it in your spirit it's it's like something in the air man it's something it's something you you could just you could just feel it you could just feel it. You feel that there's something. Something's happening. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Just uh, please repent. Turn from your old ways. I know it can be difficult, but please, yo, turn to the most high. Repent, have a relationship. Repentance is the key. Relationship is the key. Pray, pray, pray. Talk to God. Even when you don't feel like it, when you don't feel like praying, because there's always something that's trying to force you, even when you don't feel like it, do it, because there's something making you not want to do it or trying not to, you know. That's when you force it. Give thanks. Have a relationship. Thanks. But we there. We there. Wow. Revelations, y'all. We are all in it. We are all in Revelation. We. It's time to get right with God, y'all. 
It's time to repent. It's time to get right with God. Seek him. He's the only one who's going to save you. No one else but him, but Yeshua HaMashiach, Yahweh. God's the only one. God is the only one. God is the only one. Yeshua is the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody goes to the Father except to him. Y'all stay safe, man. To the next video.